Hello everyone, this is RJ Ayushi from Radio Naira Rally Drum Station, which you listen to on three different frequencies, that is 99.9 FM, HD4, 101.9 FM and 14.90 AM. Today we have with us on the show one of the most qualified and experienced and popular home financing and loan products mortgage specialists of North Carolina, North Carolina, Ms. Raksha Haider. And Ms. Heather is highly regarded for her knowledge in mortgage and also stands as a stalwart of building the Indian community. Today, we are fortunate enough to have her on the show and she is actually here to uh, give us a quick few tips regarding how to manage our mortgage and loans and everything. So thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you so much and welcome. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much. I'm happy to be here and help my community in whatever way I can and look forward to um, spending some time with you here today. Yeah, well, I have given a brief introduction about you. Would you like to give a, a short introduction regarding what exactly you do? Sure. So I work for a company called New American Funding. We are a direct lender. We do residential home financing, and I'm able to help people not just with their purchase transactions, but also their refinance. And this could be for an investment property, a second home, primary residence, or whatever the need may be. Okay, so I'll just dive right into the area of your expertise. Like if I wanted a loan, can I get a loan on land if needed? Our company does not do lot loans because it's a different um, you know, criteria. But we can help you uh, connect to somebody who does land loans. Okay. And what is the difference between you know, interest rate residency and a commercial mortgage? I've like, heard this difference a little bit. Absolutely. So my expertise is in residential, which is basically a home. I can do a single family home, a duplex, a town home. And then the other side is commercial mortgage or commercial lending, which is completely different. That is, say, if you are looking to build a daycare and you need a loan for that, that would be classified as a commercial loan. It requires a separate license and separate lenders. So I don't do any commercial lending. I'm only a experienced or um, licensed in residential home. Residency. So you do everything like A to Z for, for residency? Right. Yeah. Okay. And what is the maximum length of the loan if I need it for residential or for commercial uh, property? So com residential home loans are normally a max of 30 years. You can get them for shorter terms. It can be 10, 15, or 20. And like I said, because my expertise isn't in commercial lending, so you have to talk to a commercial lender about commercial. Okay, yeah, 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 fish that, sorry. And what is your suggestion uh, while choosing a mortgage company? Like obviously while choosing uh, it, it can be a little bit of a you know task for people who are new to this, who are actually just have just started searching for homes. So what would you suggest for them while choosing a mortgage company? Um, it has to do with what your needs are. Make sure the company is able to understand. And okay fair amount of companies now that are online and they do a good service. I'm not saying anything against them, but sometimes when you have a hiccup or it's a last minute thing, I've had certain sellers and builders tell me that they don't want to choose anybody who's online. It's always uh, good to find somebody local who has a local office. You can reach up to them. A lot yeah. of my first time home buyers are really anxious. Buying a home is the biggest. Yeah, yeah. Anybody makes yes, it is. Yes. Sometimes they need the hand holding. They need the face to face. It's just comforting to them to know that the person is local. They can be helped. And my favorite thing to do is actually go and attend a closing at the attorney's office. That's yeah. when it's all come together. It's the end. Everybody's in a happy mood. That's the day they get their keys. So I would say, look for a company that has the product that you're looking for. Um, look at what the closing cost will be. This shouldn't be exorbitant, but it should be, um, you know, similar. And also find somebody who is local if 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 you need that. It's possible. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now you get that, you know, uh, like a stable thinky. Chalo, I'm seeing that person in in yeah. person actually, and I know that person now. So that. When you share that happiness with them, it's a different thing, I might say. So, uh, like, is it a good area to take the for forbearance option? Like, is it a good option? No. What nobody ever tells you that when you go for forbearance, it shows as zero payments on your um, current mortgage. You don't have to make any payments, but that payment gets added as an outstanding payment. So it really affects your credit. 
um, people that had chosen that option last year and they were looking to refinance with me, we had to make sure that they are current with their payment, have made three payments even before we could do anything. You cannot apply for another mortgage or get a refinance if your current mortgage shows to be in forbearance. So uh, just can you just, uh, you know, uh, explain the term forbearance in a little simple language to our listeners? Sure. Since COVID, uh, the lenders and other company by government regulations had announced that you are able to skip payments, meaning you do not have to make payments on its auto loans and mortgages. Hmm. So if a payment, it does, um, the, comp- the lender cannot, ex- you know, lender knows that you have financial distress and you're hmm. not making the current payments and they can do it for okay. three to six months. But what people don't understand that it shows up as not a payment made on your credit report. So it shows up on your credit report and it lowers your credit scores sure. also. Yeah. So in so order for many new purchases or make refinance your loan, you have to make at least three payments. Before so yeah, payment. that's not a good option. Like you would not suggest that option. I understand if somebody has a financial distress and that's the only option. But for others, I if you can make the payment, go ahead and make the payment. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. And can someone purchase a property if they are like on uh, 1099 or self-employed? Yes, 1099 means that you are not receiving a W-2 from your employer. That means they're not deducting your taxes and social security benefits and you kind of file your own taxes. Absolutely. Likewise, if anybody is self-employed, we require two years of personal and business tax returns. We have an income calculator. That's how we are able to calculate your income because if you're self-employed, you all take all these deductions. So based upon the deductions that you've taken, we are able to calculate your income. And absolutely, you are allowed to buy a home on 1099 or self-employed, no problem. So you basically help like everyone get their dream property, dream home, whether be they be self-employed on 1099 or they be a citizen of the country. And also, I would like to know how does this mortgage process works after they come to you and after you actually get into it? Sure. Um, I get a lot of my clients as referral sources from realtors. So when somebody decides to buy a house, they either reach out to the realtor or to me and they said, okay, I'm now ready to buy a home. What can I do? So based on, um, I asked them to apply online to my online loan application system. They apply that. That way I'm able to pull their credit. I ask them for some documents to verify their income. And based on that, I'm able to issue what's called a pre-approval letter. Now, with this pre-approval letter, they know exactly how much they can afford and what the monthly payment would be. And then they reach out to a realtor and they start looking at homes. As soon as they have located a property, it is a tough market here right now. We've got too many buyers and not enough homes. So that's the biggest challenge. But when the realtor has been able to negotiate the terms and they're now under contract, that's when they come to me and we start the formal loan application process. This way I have a property address. I can send them initial loan disclosures that they yeah. sign and we can order the appraisal at that time. We order the appraisal for them. We do the title work. All they need to tell me is who their insurance agent is going to be and um, who their um, attorney is going to be. Yeah, so the, okay. We work with the closing attorney. We make yeah. sure to meet the deadlines, close them on time. We take them there and everything comes together and they are have home. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's so nice. So one last question, like you already uh, told us how to, uh, you know, go ahead while choosing a mortgage company. But as a community, would you like to give a specific bottom line advice to the whole community while choosing a mortgage company? Sure. Um, I think one other thing that some people in our community need is somebody who speaks their language. So yeah. being bilingual, I'm also able to help a lot of the first time home buyers that need the understanding. A home mm. buying process in America is very different from what it is in India. Yeah. So that way, um, it really absolutely has to do with their comfort level, but they can pick somebody who speaks their language and that helps. I don't understand Gujarati as much, but I'm talking about Hindi. I'm talking about Hindi. I'm talking about Hindi. 
जब आप किसी से अपने भावना पहुंचना इम्पोर्टेंट है और यू यू नो यू जस्ट नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड ईच अदर वेदर इट बी थ्रू एक्सप्रेशन हैंड जेस्टर्स और यू नो लैंग्वेज बट आई लाइक यू सेड इट हेल्प्स इफ यू नो समवन हु इज लुकिंग लाइक यू या फिर समवन हु इज स्पीकिंग योर लैंग्वेज इट रियली हेल्प्स टू गेट इनटू दैट कंफर्ट जोन इट रियली हेल्प्स इन जनरल जो हमारी कम्युनिटी की नीड्स हैं घर में कि आपके घर की फेसिंग क्या है आपके घर में कैसा है नीचे बेडरूम एक है पेरेंट्स के ख्याल से जो भी है तो आसानी हो जाती है look for the comfort zone your comfort zone while going for a mortgage company right and culturally bhi aapko samajhta hai koi yeah <laughs> yeah that's, that's okay thank you thank you so much is there anything you would like to add on to this whole uh, your experience and everything um no i've been here a resident of uh, rale for the past 15 years i've been doing mortgages for 12 years so i really enjoy i love the way our community is going really awesome having a radio station like yours really adds to that <laughs> Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank you. The, the Indian grocery stores it just makes you feel at home. It yeah. is really wonderful. Thank you. Thank you so yeah. much. No, and thank you so much for your time. Yeah. Thank you so much. So if you guys need anything regarding, you know, mortgage loans, property loans, anything, just you can go to Miss uh, Raksha Heather and she's just there to help you with everything. Like she said she's just there to help you with A to Z. If you need anything regarding property, just call her. She'll be there. And uh, like she said, she told us many things regarding mortgage, property loans, and if you can get a property while being self-employed or not. So the bottom line is, if you need a home, just go to her, and she'll be there to help you. Thank you so much, ma'am, for being here. Thank you so much Thank for your time. You know, letting us know everything about your work and how you help the community. Thank you so much for that, also. You have to keep on listening to Radio Naira Rally Drum Station. This is RJ Ayushi, and you listen to Radio Naira Rally Drum Station on three different frequencies. That is ninety nine point nine FM HD four, one hundred one point nine FM, and fourteen ninety AM. Thank you so much.